Good day everybody, Peter from RV Finders. Yes, today I am really excited to bring to you this amazing motorhome. I really like it a lot and uh, it is a Euromobile, it's a Profilio RS and it's only just under 7 meters long. It's on this Fiat chassis, it's a 2019 model but it's traveled really low mileage and it's in great condition. Yeah, it's got the Fiat 16 inch wheels on with the mag wheels, those alloy wheels. It's on 130 horsepower, you can spec it up to 150, 180 if you're power hungry or would like to do that. It is a manual, so what I like about the manuals myself is that it is easier to control up and down the hills where with the Comfortmatic uh, gearbox, you know, you've got to rely on the gearbox to do its work. So anyway, uh, a brief overview, so I'm not going to be very long. You're welcome to come and view it at our uh, premises. And uh, yeah, we got the Truma heating, the Combi 6, and double glazed windows. So this is the lounge area window, which is really great. Got this lovely entry door. Now it is uh, central locking, so you've got the cab pod and this door that is central locking. So really luxurious. And then it's got this uh, three and a half meter awning. It's a Fiyama. Got the awning light, the fridge vents, and as we go to the back, you've also got this, uh, which is I found pretty good. It is a barbecue point, an external gas point, which the customers fitted aftermarket. And uh, yeah, these windows are pretty flush, as you can see. It's really great and in really good condition. Now here at the back, got a lovely big garage, as you can see. There's lots of storage there. You've got even a 240 plug in there. You've got a drain plug hole, which is good if you want to wash it out. And then the the, um, the jack and the tools will be in there. And there's also a removable uh, flashlight there. You've got the uh, tie downs. You've got all the wastewater pipe, the 240 cable, ladder for the bed that drops down. And also the um, fresh water hose in there. And then you've got the awning winder, everything up here. Right, so let's go to the back, and and so got a lovely look at that. I like the the stylishness of this. Really styleful, the lights and everything. It's got the two bike bike rack from Fiamma. It's got a reverse camera, brake light on top. So yeah, the Euro Mobile, really good quality. And uh, yeah, we've got the Zog system fitted here for the. Oops, I got to open that up uh, for the toilet cassette, which is in here. And it's all lockable as you can see. Here you go. So Ted for toilet cassette with the Zog system. And uh, yeah, you just gotta chuck that in and close it off. You can see the Profilia RS there. It's got four stars. I would give it a five star to be honest. Yeah. Now here you got the two 9 kg gas bottles with the vent neatly tucked in there. And on trade me it will be everything with all the you know the capacities like the water tank, how many water, how many liter does it hold in the fresh water tank, and then also you've got the 240 outlet here and the diesel filler cap. So yeah, let's step inside to let's step to the other side and see what she's all about on the inside. Okay, so this lovely big entry door, we've got the it can lock from the inside, but like I said, you can hear it's central locking as well. Got the grab handle, you've got this blind here and the waste bin here, which is all neatly that can be uh, opened up. And then, yeah, you've got a good fly screen door here, it slides across. You definitely would need that when you go up the west coast, I would say. And then, yeah, the awning light, as I mentioned. Now, look at the steps here, it's got a wide entry door. And as we come in, we'll swing around and have a look on the top here. So, this is where your uh it could see you can see there the wastewater and the fresh water needs to be empty this is the control panel so it's the on and off switch you can check the vehicle battery the house battery all of these things will in any case be shown to you uh this is the truma heating system at the moment it flashes on we'll just turn that off uh all of these will be shown to you when you uh we do a really really proper handover of the motorhome so everything will be shown to you when you pick up the motorhome so you can be fully conversant and easy and drive off and know exactly what you're doing and then we also have phone call away now this is quite neat because the customer has put in wi-fi to the motorhome so yeah it's got the wi-fi enabled you got these pockets for magazines and stuff or your remote for the deli and yeah over there some coat hooks so we'll just go around like this uh, and i'll show you look at the oven and everything not a scratch on this normally these scratch pretty easily you've got the dometic oh, i wonder if it's ever been used look how clean that is uh 
and uh, yeah, you got the oven and grill Dometic, and then you also got the fridge freezer uh, combination there. Okay, so you just can switch it on with a lovely blue light, which is great. Okay, that happens if there's no gas or power source. All right, and then over here. You've got the television here, yeah, it's a massive big telly, they put on in a really good big Aztec uh, TV and it's got satellite dish as well. Uh, all the cupboards there, you've got the uh, light switches and plugs there, and then the remote is here, and then obviously the bed will uh, lift up as well. Very easy and simple, and then you can gain storage, which I like it with the French bed versions is that you can easily gain storage now some of the beds are like really cut off and it's, there's not a lot of space to get out where i think this bed is really great because it now it enables you to have lots of space and a bigger bathroom area in an under seven meter motorhome if you don't mind just sliding over there then this is really ideal for you and this one is as well lovely big bed now if you go in here this is where the toilet and shower unit is now that's pretty cool there because you can drop that little piece down onto the seat and uh, you, obviously the seat don't get wet if you go in there, nothing of the sort. So you can put your foot up there or whatever uh, to wash and up and all of that kind of stuff. And you got the basin and uh, yeah, the lights and everything in there. So while we're over here, we can just swing around and then you can see there's a little cupboard space here. Lots of drawers, uh, sorry, cupboard space, hanging uh, wardrobe space. So there's lots of storage inside the motor and under the bed, which I found is really, really great. Look at that. And the quality of the hinges, there's the manuals for you. So it's got all the manuals that is available for all the equipment, everything in the motor home. And then, like I said, storage underneath. It's got a lovely flat floor, which is amazing. I like that. There's no steps to trip over and stuff like that. So here you've got the and it's all soft closed as you can see all right so you got more drawers here now this is quite nice and you've got your isolation switches here oops just take the safety belt off it is a true four berth okay and uh yeah now you've got the three burner gas hob also neat and tidy hardly used got more storage up here okay this is really well appointed and also you can go off the grid for quite some time now these are nice there's cutting boards but you can also put your drinks or coffee or whatever in here move this around which i found really great it's a good use of space and all of that kind of stuff okay so now to drop down the bead is just pretty simply you just will click click this off let me just get that off and then you just lower the bead down like that it can go obviously lower but then you've got to just put those cushions down all right so it's a pretty good big bed and you also got these to stop you from falling off the out, out of the bed when you're up there so the ladder will just hook on here and you've got a skylight you've got a reading light up there everything okay but yeah like i said the bed can come up to here you can even remove this if you like and then you can just push it up and this is just to secure it with the with the safety belt clip there all right so let's move to the front and now you can see it's got this slidable movable table area and then also the seats front seats can swivel around and you can see it's like new really to be honest um, everything and you got this big fly screen the fly screen comes up and down the blind as well so you got that big skylight there too so if you would like to um, have a look underneath uh, and the, oh yeah it's got a massive inverter everything but all of the stuff is in the here i'll just quickly show you that okay so there's all the batteries so it's deep cycle batteries got a massive inverter uh, i think it's a thousand watt inverter or maybe more i'm not sure at this stage and then uh you've got the truma heater uh, boiler over there so yeah and then you just put that back pretty simple pretty straightforward and it's got a lovely big lounge now if you can move to the front you can see there that's where the um, the uh, dashboard of the Fiat is it's got that leather steering wheel with the with the controls not a lot of them have the controls on there and then you've got a lovely multimedia system there as well 
as well. Well, as I say, that yeah, everything will be on TradeMe, so you can go and have a look there uh, for all the specifications and all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, if you would like to more, know more, uh, please contact me, Peter at RVFinders.co.nz. You can also go on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe for more videos and content. And uh, yeah, there's more comparisons of vehicles that we've sold in the past and similar vehicles like this. But yeah, 2019 model, hardly traveled. I think not even 10,000 Ks, it's under that and in really immaculate condition. So if you would like to know more, please contact me today or you might be losing out. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.